Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. You may notice something a little different today, so we're going to start with that. We're sitting because put I, it on the table. I, <laughs> I did something to my back. Oh, I'm real uncomfortable today. Oh. And it's real embarrassing. I did write about this, and some of you have, know this already, but I basically was sitting too long writing on the porch yesterday. So I have reached that threshold now where I have injured myself sitting on my tuckus. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's how our Monday is starting. So we get the latest now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Hi, Dave. Hi, Kate, and I see there's something you simply won't stand for today. It's an invasive species from Asia. It's kind of a attractive little thing. Like you said, we're not going to stand for it. That's right, not today anyway. Not today anyways. Mm. A couple rounds on the Tilt-A-Whirl, we'll be ready to go. There you go. <laughs> Yikes. Last night, Kate, the storm started coming in. I grabbed my camera. I go, oh, watch this. Watch these poor birds trying to fend against oh the wind. Look at that rolling in. Yeah, the wind really picked up. And now watch this. You're going to see the sky change. You see the color change in just a second. Oof. Start to see it. Getting darker. Michelle, did we miss it? You see a green sky. Michelle, did we miss it? Uh, we missed it! Well, anyways. Well, darn. Do you see that guy in the boat? <laughs> oh. All right, we're back. Before we get to mostly interesting, we're going to take one more look at our very scientific poll here. We decided to ask you, do we keep the desk on most buffalo? The people have spoken so far right now, Maria. All 64 of them, 47 people, Eight. think that we should keep it. It is opening day of the fair. Things getting underway this morning, and we're keeping things rolling here on Most Buffalo. Elise is with me here. Our very first live official Most Buffalo show out in the wild. We've yes. got a fairgrounds audience. Feel free to make noise over there, you guys. <laughs> And we are back here on Most Buffalo, and we're so pleased to welcome a new colleague here to Channel 2. And we're almost positive that he hasn't quit. <laughs> At least, not yet. I'm experiencing my very first Erie County Fair today, and we're starting at the best place possible, the pig races. We're gonna see those swines running all around the track. Tell us a little bit about you and how you ended up here in Buffalo. Yes, yeah, so I'm originally from Chicago suburbs, like Elise. Um, I, I came here because I love telling stories. I love I love telling stories and hopefully we'll do that for a lot of Western New Yorkers here. This seems like a great opportunity to do that. We certainly wish you all the luck in the world and we're so glad that you're here. If you had to pick a favorite thing about today, what would it be? Had to be the got it. I mean that, that game was so much fun. It was I, I thought I was so close to getting a win a couple times there, <laughs> but I, I unfortunately fell short. Well, this is spicy, Linda. It is a little spicy. Woo! I, I like it though. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't either. Listen, I just read this stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Michelle? <laughs> Michelle says we sound old. <laughs> we I sound do, old? I, know I, do. Oh, I am you? old. <laughs> you kids. I? Michelle's in our ear going, you kids get off my lawn. It's so true. <laughs> Hey, do you remember baby Fiona, yeah. the hippo? Well, she was all the rave a few years ago, but now she has a sibling who's stealing the spotlight, as they like to do. And we also know the gender. We've got the best gender reveal probably ever. I think we see it. Nice. <laughs> Maria. So anyway, we're bringing you along with us on this journey. And if you're watching this, uh, Mom, I love you. And um, we'll hopefully see you next time. Ha, 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 ha.